guys, it's Kirby. I'm with Guy Tang, and today, what are we celebrating, Guy? The launch of the Guy Tang My Denny Hair Color Line. Woohoo! With all the hair besties in the land. Guys, this is yes. so awesome. Guys, it's a workshop. It's it's amazing. Hundreds of people are in there. It's a madhouse, but it's so much fun. Everybody's getting their hair colored. Yes, let's go let's check go. it out. Come on. I call myself a hair activist because I like to stand up for the hair community. I'm all about education and you know supporting my hair besties family or community through social media, meeting them in person to come to a lot of workshop events to just have a lot of fun. Pop sugars in the house. I just launched a guy tang hair color line called My Danny and the name came from finding who we are as artists because I feel like when you know who you are you can help someone else find who they are. When clients come and sit in our chair, we're helping them transform into a new person, whether they're you know, going through a breakup or something traumatic happened to them, they go to a stylist to get a whole new look. You give them a whole new identity, so I think it's good to find who you are so you can help someone else find themselves as well. The three signature shades in my identity is Silver Smoke, Rose Gold, and Dusty Lavender. There is two shades of silver. One is Silver Pearl and one is Silver Smoke. One being a little bit more smoky and one almost have a slight lilac-y iridescent to it. So they're, they both have their place. It's so beautiful. I love it. I create my identity and I customize the colors because Rose Gold is very, very in demand right now. Dusty Lavender, these shades are also in demand, but it's hard for them to last. In the past, they have faded really quick. Uh, they're a very sensitive color to light, curling, irons, heat, all that type of stuff. So I created this color line to empower hairstylists to feel brave and make these colors that are considered out of this world to become a little bit more wearable. So you get the rose gold, you get the dusty lavender, but they're softer and you could wear them into like a balayage or an ombre effect. So it's not like in your face pink or in your face purple. It's more of an iridescent and a soft metallic cast to the color. In the past, a lot of the colors have been more difficult to formulate. You have to mix a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little drop of black, a little drop of uh, red and all that stuff. And what happens is sometimes there's inconsistency and the color becomes a little bit too dark because everybody's hair is different. So I want to create customized colors where I develop it with the chemist so the colors become what they're supposed to through the tube. Although you can intermix them and enhance them by adding more pigment and intermix the dyes, the color in the tube alone, you get that perfect rose gold, the perfect dusty lavender, the shade that everybody wants. I love all the colors. I think I like rose gold right now. I'm feeling the rose gold just because it's kind of like a balance between warm and cool. And I just think it's first of its kind. I feel like there hasn't been a rose gold dimmy in permanent color. So to my liking at least. So this is really exciting for me. I want to change the hair coloring world by bringing fun back into it. I feel like for a while there in the business corporate world, there's so much like seriousness. Everything has to be so stiff and robotic. I feel like let's have fun. Let's celebrate the industry. Let's celebrate beauty. Let's have a good time. All of my hair besties, when we get together, we're, we're dancing, we're singing, we're just having fun. And that's what it should be about. I love wearing a hair color that I would normally wear. Like you'll see me wear jeans here. See, if you look down close, I'm wearing jeans. So how do we create that denim blue type of feel? So I love to put that in the hair. You pre-lighten the hair, you create a custom blend of color, and it makes it wearable. So it doesn't have to be like neon blue or screwing blue. Even though there's a place for that, I feel like making the color soft to the eyes, it doesn't scare people because I feel like there's so much stereotypes with hair color. When people think of blue, green, pink, they think of, oh my God, screaming blue, screaming pink, and it becomes unwearable. But what if it is wearable? What if it looks like the clothes that we wear on a daily basis? So it makes it more complimentary to the skin and maybe not so screaming at work or, you know, not, even though there is a place for that. Because I love to do both types of hair color. I want the Maidani hair color to help people embrace themselves, own themselves, own their identity. That's why it's called Maidani. It's about finding who you are, owning who you are, being proud of who you are. And that's what I've always stood for as a hair activist. Thank you so much for having Thank us you. today. This was amazing. I love it. Thank uh, you. Guys, we're going to put everything that you need to know about my identity in the copy below. As always, subscribe to Guy's channel. 
down there. Subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide. You will find everything that you need there. And, and thumbs uh, up. Thumbs up. Leave thumbs comments. Up comments. Favorite hair color, favorite hair shade. Yeah. I'm, I'm rose thinking gold, rose dusty gold. lavender, silver. Maybe you should change your hair color. <gasps> Leave comments below. Tell us what color. Maybe you should do. I say, I say green. Let's do green, <laughs> mint green. Yes? Leave comments below. Bye. Bye.